any deep wounds. I appear to have some... I've contracted something. I've got food poisoning. Worrying. And I've got the flu. Alright, so for food poisoning in this game you take anti-spasmodic and for let me go take another antibiotic all right now I'm dosed up so that means I should have a little better chances to not die here food poisoning level severity to be watched that's fine if it's to be watched you're not gonna die for a level of seriousness benign infections. I'm gonna be fine oh, I can find my way out of the cave here. Oh, that's me sneezing. I forgot about that. Alright, so absent any supplies by the way, I will never actually be able to leave the cave. So we're gonna load out of this here. Alrighty. Uh, Still want to find the tiger. Here we go. All right, last thing, tiger. So I mentioned how I've got a knife. I'm pretty boss. I can handle whatever comes at me. But we're just gonna go have a chat with the tiger here. All right, go oh, poke tiger. Poke tiger. Go, go, and that's it. All right. So there's Robinson's Requiem. We're gonna do a quick. Supercut of ways you can die. You can burn to death. You can drown. You can get the flu and die. You can pass out from hypothermia. You can bleed to death. Then you can bleed to death. Then you can bleed to death. There's a variety of ways you can bite it. But really, if you show the least bit of common sense, you can avoid almost all of them. So that's Robinson's Requiem. It's a game I can recommend to you because it's different than your average thing. And. The story is sensical or not, depending on whether you speak French or I guess this game comes in English, so you can parse it out for yourself. But I want to take a look at something else here as well. And now we're going to try a, a slightly different game, Miyazmata. A very similar genre. One thing I really love about this game is this game is made 15, 20 years later from Robinson's Requiem, but you can really find a whole lot of things that feel similar to that classic game. Now, Miyazmata is made by a two-person development team, INFX. I'm going to go ahead and start from a, a loaded game just to get through the initial intro cinematic here. This is literally the very first instant of the first game. So it's like you're missing anything yet. Day 1, 8 a.m., first thing. Your boat has crashed, and you are attempting to not die. Now, what makes this game interesting is it has a time deadline. Robinson's Requiem, if you don't gather all of the data cards together in time, eventually I believe you run out of food and you starve to death. Uh, here in Miyazmata, you are infected with a plague. And you have to find a cure for the plague. Now, coincidentally enough, the island you've wrecked yourself on is where they're researching this very plague you have. Uh, one of the challenges about this plague is it appears to mean you, like, leak blood or something, because you will see, as I get up here, um, look at my, uh, look at my hands, they appear to be soaked in blood, which is a bit, uh, that's a bit macabre, but okay. So, look around here at the scenery, and you can definitely see that we've come a long way since Robinson's Requiem. That really shouldn't be all that surprising. We're going to go on around here a bit. We're in the very beginning of the game, so it's going to tell me how to actually control everything. Now, if I wanted to sneak, I can crouch and sneak. This game actually has momentum. A uh, little different than Robinson's Requiem, where it's easier to change direction. Here, there's definitely some some time required, particularly if I'm running, to try and stop and turn around. Now, I where am I going? Uh, if I had, if 
planned. Oh, I don't know. We're going to go... I'm trying to remember where I'm supposed to head from here. I guess it's this way. Now, another thing I like is here I'm running, and just like in Robinson's Requiem, when you overexert yourself, you really start to hear the laboring. There's my breath pounding. You know, I'm a sickly guy. I'm infected with whatever the heck the plague is I've got. This is taking a toll on me. And if I stop, I'm going to hear my breath continuing to pound. All right, so there's a note here on the table. Pick it up. Pick it up. Pick up the note. Opened up. Well, you remember the cure. And the discussion of how I actually make the cure happen. Antibiotic, antitoxin, and adjuvant, whatever the heck that is, equals the cure. Tricorgerzine. I have to find something that actually contains all those ingredients. Now I want to go through here. This blood's a bit like, I don't know, ketchup lying on the ground here. Uh, I should be able to... Ah, uh, ran away from me. Come back. Come back. Bah. There's a dead here, by the way. I should be a little more alarmed about this, but I don't know. It's a video game. You kind of expect it. Dude is pretty well dead. I do like getting a, a knife this early on, because you never know when you're going to need a knife. This is the wilderness, after all. Uh, there appears to be a lean-to constructed here. Now, one thing that is different about this game is, uh, unlike in Robinson's Requiem, where there's not a whole lot of signs of civilization, although there are people, there's not much interaction you can do with this. This game is, it's very sciency. Uh, you are here gathering specimens. You are here doing research. We have beakers and mortars and pestles and microscopes and a bewildering variety of different things to use. And I can also get some water, which is good, because I'm pretty thirsty, I imagine. I can fill my canteen, which is also handy. Uh, and then there's more science to be done over here. Where I can learn about how to actually synthesize a medicine, which I'm not going to go into because that takes a bit too much to do. Also, you are being watched. This game is a unique in that unlike Robinson's Requiem, when there is a tiger and the tiger will kill you, in this particular case, there is a tiger -y thing, but he's not going to kill you in one hit. He's actually going to kind of follow you around and be creepy. Uh, if we bump into him in the forest, he is pretty much waiting for a chance to and kill me because, just like everybody else out there, I discovered a white, pink viola. Flower is white and pink in color. Sure, why not? I will take my sample. Maybe we'll go back to the lab and see if we can analyze it. So we're going to run up here, take a look at the examination tray, and do some sciencing. It's handy that I have a knife. Uh, that's not actually how you do a slide, unless you're doing a dry mount, which requires a thinner slice than that. But we'll pretend that I'm not enough of a scientist to know that. All right, I have looked at the white pink viola. The white pink viola, mild medicinal value. I can synthesize this flower into basic medicine. Well, basic medicine is better than no medicine, so we'll go do a synthesis here. I'm actually cleaning this up and doing a whole bunch of work here. But this is, this is pretty cool. Uh, crafting mechanic in this game is actually substantially realer feeling than in say, Robinson's Requiem or Minecraft, where it, things happen kind of instantly here, whereas in this case, I really have to take the time to... I keep forgetting I can use escape here. I really have to take the time to do this the right way. So I want to grab this medicine here. Uh, and there's some stuff here. Syringes and other things. Can't pick them up, though, apparently. Oh, I 
so I can go grab more pink violas, but let's go see if we can find something else that's more exciting. There's a whole research hut laboratory thing here. Find fresh water to drink. Is this fresh water? Crispy fresh water. I'll drink me some fresh water. Can't wash my hands off, though. These hands will never be clean the blood they've shed. Thanks, Macbeth. Alright, there's a whole village here. And again, also unlike Robinson's Requiem, uh, I'm not going to find people. Which is one way to cut down on, I suppose, storyline. All I have to do is not die. There's my quest. Save your game by lighting candles, lanterns, campfires, and urns. I've got a map here, which I'm sure will prove handy. Statue laboratory. I'm right here. And there's, that means that the boat I got dropped off on is somewhere around here. All right. And I can get some sleep. I think for a immediate overview of what's happening here, uh, you, this game is in some ways reminding you of some of my favorite things about Robinson's Requiem. Uh, it does some things a little bit differently. It brings a, uh, I say, a, a little more horror, a little more suspense into it than Robinson's Requiem, which is mostly about just the, the difficulties of surviving. Uh, if you're looking for an unusual sort of game, whether we're talking about Miasmata or Robinson's Requiem or even Deus, uh, these games are all survival simulations that bring a depth of gameplay and you don't normally see to actually just managing the daily processes of not dying. I do enjoy the fact that they feel a lot more realistic than playing, I don't know, a shooter where you get hit a thousand times by bullets and you keep slapping on med, picks, med kits to patch things up. Uh, if you're willing to try something that's a little bit different, a little bit slower, uh, playing a game like Miasmata really feels like it's up the alley of someone who enjoys classic games because it really feels like a classic game. So if you're willing to take that slower pace, that not leading you around by the hand, not making life easy for you, I definitely recommend that you check out Mia's Mata and the Robinson's Requiem collection here on GOG on special discount today. Thank you very much for watching, and we should catch you next time here on GOG.